Elsewhere, a community-based organization in Homer Bay County has opened up a home uh, for the elderly in an effort to reduce frequent contacts, which might increase their chances of exposure to the COVID-19 disease. A Molly home for the elderly in Oyugistown has been a safe haven for over 60 elderly people with visual impairedness, the diabetic, and the hypertensive, and those rendered immobile because of their advanced age. Some of the beneficiaries have been had been abandoned by their kids, while others require specialized care. A Molly home for the elderly. This home, located 10 kilometers off Oyugi's town, is now a safe haven for at least 60 senior members of the society. The facility is not only beneficial to them, but also to their kin who, due to one reason or the other, may not be able to adequately take care of them at home. The number of those who are hosted here, their homes are close by. Two, uh, before they come here, there is an extensive consultation between family and uh, even clan members uh, before they come here. Leonard Odindo, who is 75 years old and visually impaired, says it has been hectic to take care of his family in his condition. Sasa ni mwakambili haoni. Sasa kuleto hapa, mimi naona mesuri saidi. Bada hiyo mina oga na maji ya kachamusa. Irene Nessie, a nurse who attends to the elderly at the new home, says that they ensure their daily nutritional requirement is met and any old age complication is medically addressed. So most of them need to be talked to, need to just have some good advice from the medics. They have just said that uh, we usually come here to offer them our services. That is, they don't need to come to the hospital. It's just a call away. So whenever we see a call from Amoli Foundation, we come in handy. The home manager adds that they plan to expand the facility to accommodate more members. We need a good space where we can have a number of these people added to us. As at now, we have some that we normally assist from home. We cannot have them here because of uh, the space. For Channel 1 News, I'm Ben Troenjua.